Good day, fellow investors. Today I'll discuss Chinese pick number four, Momo, or however should I, should I pronounce it. Momo is a live stream broadcasting platform similar to YY, which we analyzed in the previous Chinese stock video. The Chinese live stream market is exploding, and this is because 3G and 4G have entered the country and the internet penetration is constantly growing and there is still plenty of potential. As you can see here, internet penetration in China is just at 53.2%. This is very low when compared to the 88% in the US or even above 90% in the UK. Just another short introduction about the Chinese live video stream market it is expected to triple by 2020. The growth rates will be smaller than they have been in 2016, but still you want to be exposed to a market that will triple in the next three years. The top two leaders are YY, which we already discussed in this video, and you can check the videos in our Chinese stock idea playlist. And the second investment is Momo, which we'll shortly analyze today. The company is relatively equal to YY. See the front pages, so live stream on YY and live stream on Momo's page. So the two businesses are live stream businesses where broadcasters entertain their audiences, they get subscription, money, virtual gifts, and the sites are also monetized through advertisement, but that's just a small part of revenues. Going back to what's the business model, well, 80% of the broadcasters are females that entertain 80% of the male's population that are the customers. A business model there is no por pornography in China, so you get the picture. However, this works, the business is booming, and I think the business is there to stay, especially if China doesn't allow porno pornography for a long time. So what's the difference between YY and Momo? Momo is relatively newer. This is YY's streaming revenue, and you can see how it has been growing pretty fast since 2012. However, Momo's revenue has been zero in 2015 and has reached almost the same level as YY in Q4 2016. So Momo is a fast grower, faster grower than YY. And if we check the last quarter's highlights, we can see that net revenue increased 420% year over year. Net income went from 7 million to 81 million, so 11-fold increase. These numbers are simply crazy. However, if you listen to the company's webcast, the company expects revenue to grow 7% in the next quarter. 7% per quarter comes to 30% a year, something similar to what YY's guidance is. And this is very important for an investment decision you'll see later in the valuation part. Going back to Momo, its revenue stream is diversified and all the revenue streams are growing, which is very important because with such online businesses, when the base, customer base is made, you never know which one of these revenue streams will explode in the future and will be perfectly monetized. So both YY and Momo have a large customer base, slowly growing customer base, high growing monetization, so they're really focused on monetizing, both companies are very profitable, and both companies expect to grow at the same rate, around 7% per quarter, 30% per year, alongside how the market grows. So extreme growth offered from both companies. A look at fundamentals will show us which one is the best investment. So Momo's PE ratio is 38.9, YY's is 14. Price to book, again, better at YY's. Price to sales, again, better at YY's. And price to cash flow, better at YY. As both companies expect the same growth in the future, YY has the Huya, which is also growing very fast, which is something new like Momo offers, I find YY a better investment from a margin of safety perspective. Now I didn't dig in which one is the best, perhaps the best way is to diversify into both. And then if one of those investments explodes, 
you are set, especially as YY has a margin of safety. However, if the companies continue to grow at the same rate, their valuations will have to even out. So much more upside for YY and less upside for Momo. I think Momo has a higher valuation now because of the past growth. But if the management doesn't see future growth, then it's probably just a market mispricing. However, I think that the PE ratio of 30 is fair, fair for a company that will grow 30% year over year. So YY is the underdog here. It's the undervalued company. So to conclude, I think both are excellent investments, both Momo and YY. The business model is certainly there to stay. More and more people will use mobile phones in China. More and more people will be entertained with such form of entertaining. So the Chinese econom economy is growing. There will be more money for vir virtual gifts. There will be more phones, more internet, more everything. And you have to understand that such entertainment platforms are one of the only sources of entertainment and shopping for a Chinese citizen that is living in some lower tier cities. So the investment case, I prefer YY. However, even Momo, I think will do well because at such a low price earnings ratio and the expected growth of 30% with the high potential, it also looks like a good company. What are the risks? The risks are regulatory implications. However, both YY and Momo have all the necessary licenses and the regulatory risks are more oriented to smaller players that went more into pornography than into entertainment and the government banned them immediately. Other risks, competition, we have Alibaba, Tencent coming in with their live streams, but they are more oriented towards selling products, commercializing. So a bit different than Momo from my, what I have seen. So given the growth of the whole market, I think both YY and Momo with their base, with their stable customer base will continue to grow and continue to monetize their projects. Very interesting stocks. The stocks jumped recently, so it's a bit higher, but the potential is very, very high. Please leave your comments below, your thoughts about which one is better, Momo, YY, and if you have any questions, please ask them in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe as we will dig into, I think, more than 10 Chinese companies. And I'm sure out of the 15 that you will get information here that you will find some good investments for your portfolio. I'll see you in the next video.